Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Lisa Zimmer. We are going to talk about oils today for the holidays. And we're going to talk about oils and supplements for pre cataract surgery and post cataract surgery. Let's see if everybody's joining me here. Oh, hi, Tracy. Yay. All right, so you're used to seeing me with glasses, um, but with my recent eye surgery, I have one good eye that I can see out of and one not good eye that I can see out of. So my next surgery isn't until November 16th, and then after that, they'll fit me with new glasses. I'll probably still need glasses. I have astigmatism and I'll need some help with some of my sites still. But for anyone considering cataract surgery, I have some great tips for you. So um, anyone considering it, first of all, ask your surgeon if there'll be a lag time in between your surgeries. I've heard a lot of people get their surgeries done a week apart. Mine's three weeks apart, which means I don't see very well for um, still another two weeks. <laughs> so this has been an interesting process. Um, all right, so what I want to talk about, um, first of all, is doTERRA's holiday products, and I hope you got your hands on them. All right, so some of them are sold out already. Uh, many of them are 80% off. We're going to go over... This is the ancient oils. Get your hands on this as soon as possible, okay? Um, I will post some educational information about these oils uh, rather than go through each one in great detail um, on the video. But um, the hot, hot, hot item that is still available is the ancient oils collection. Let's see if I can test myself and remember what's in here. It's frankincense and myrrh, which are two of our most powerful oils. Myrrh itself, the large bottle, is out of stock right now, so you're going to want to make sure and get this ancient oils collection because it's your only way, only way to get your hands on the myrrh, right? So if you Google essential oils um, benefits for myrrh, frankincense, for each one of these oils in here, your mind is going to be blown to the overall health benefits and emotional health benefits. The reason they're called ancient oils is because they are um, referenced in the Bible. So um, you'll find over 500 references to essential oils like frankincense, myrrh, cystus, hyssop, common myrtle, and galvan galbanum. I don't know how to say the, that one, right? You'll find over 500 references to essential oils in the Bible. So doTERRA put this ancient oils uh, collection together for you for the holidays in smaller bottles to make them incredibly um, affordable. They're very powerful, very potent oils um, that are um, on the higher end of the price range. So they put them in an affordable size so you can get them all. Right, so check it in this cute little case. Isn't that adorable? <coughs> All right, so grab that Ancient Oils collection. These are the ones that I've gotten so far. Um, I got the Adaptive Calming Bath Oil. You just add that to your own bath. All right, for those of you that are going to want to... Um, that are going to fall in love with this, right? So we're all going to fall in love with it because you know I'm obsessed with Adaptive. I use it at the beginning of every video. In fact, speaking of which... I have it sitting right here for every video, right? And inhale. For those of you that don't know how to make your own bath oil or bath salts, let's go over how to refill this when this is gone because it's not an item that we have regularly, right? So um, I use adaptive in my bath every time I take a bath. I do one cup of Epsom salts with 10 drops adaptive and 10 drops aroma touch. If you have sensitive skin or newer to the oils, you can um, start with three to five drops of each of those or five drops of one oil. But I've been using oils for six years. I love that, um, 10 of each, and I'm happy with that. And I fill my bathtub really, really full. Right, so to refill this adaptive oil, I'm not sure um, of all the ingredients in here, but it's very, very simple, right? So I've been using um, bath oils for a long time. I'm a big fan of jojoba, or, I'm sorry, of in my bath almond oil. So in the winter time, 
I like to use almond oil because it's very, very, very uh, moisturizing for the skin. It is greasy, right? But in Illinois, our skin gets very dry from the use of the furnace and that hot water taking the moisture out of your skin. So when this is empty, I'm going to put, I'm going to fill it with almond oil and then I'm going to add um, probably 40 drops of adaptive to it, all right? So that's a good um, size recipe for this and you just shake it and pour a little bit in your bath when your bath water is running, right? So let's see which um, holiday items are out of stock and which ones are almost out of stock. Let's go over that. I think I look so weird without glasses. This is super weird. All right. My eyes are doing better here. I'm seeing much better today. Let's give you an update. All right. So holiday items inventory as of uh, yesterday. And there's no new updates today. So completely sold out is the three pack of five milliliter holiday joy, right? I posted about that this last week. So when I tell you to make sure and get something because it's going to sell out, listen to me <laughs> because I'm usually right. All right. So three pack of holiday joy is sold out. Desert bloom, the little flower passive diffuser is sold out. These lime drops are almost sold out. They were at 80% yesterday. I literally asked every close friend and family member to order the maximum of four of these for me. I think I now had, I think I'm up to eight friends um, ordered extra for me that they weren't gonna use. So they wanted just one to try it and I wanted the rest of their order. So um, yeah, I'll have these for a year. Um, they're amazing, I love them. One of the reasons I fell in love with them, um, they were uh, free samples at convention last year and a friend of mine got some, and I had a cough that would not go away um, last fall. Just an annoying dry cough. I had it for a couple months. We could not figure out what the deal was. Um, still don't know what it was. Um, and uh, it was made worse in Utah because it was so dry there, and there were fires and smoke everywhere. And so um, we got back. She mailed me a couple of these that she had gotten, and by, like, my second drop, um, my irritating cough cleared up all right so i'm obsessed with these um they i'm not used to eating hard candy or anything like that so my mouth does get sore if i eat too many of them so i eat maybe two or three a day right and i space them out throughout the day um because otherwise the roof of my mouth gets sore because i don't eat candy or stuff like that but um uh, for those of you that eat candy on a regular basis, you won't have that issue, right? Okay, so get the lemon lime drops because they are almost gone. And then 50% sold out. The adapt This is as of yesterday morning. The adaptive oil, the adaptogenic hot cocoa. Now, it turns out there's uh, 20 servings in that hot cocoa, and it has the adaptogenic um, ingredients in it, which you're going to want to Google benefits of adaptogenics. And... Um, to get all those health benefits. So that makes this hot cocoa just over a dollar a serving. So imagine what you pay for hot cocoa at Starbucks that doesn't even have adaptogenics, all right? So that's a great price. Plus, remember, if you're a loyalty rewards orderer, you're getting 30, 10 to 30% back on all of these orders and prices, okay? All right, so holiday peace. And Holiday Joy, 15 milliliter, or both 50% sold out. Two of my favorite oils. We diffuse these all throughout the year. I do the same thing with these. I call my friends, close friends and family, and they ask them to order. The maximum is four. So if they're going to only order one or two or three, I ask them to order the extras for me because we use these all throughout the year. So Holiday Joy and Holiday Peace. Holiday Joy smells like your holiday candle with the cinnamon sweet um, smell, but not um, too sweet. It's perfect, right? Make sure you're getting rid of those candles. No one should ever be lighting anything um, on fire intentionally in their home ever. Um, and then Holiday Peace is your Christmas tree smell, but um, not so uh, sickeningly Christmas tree-y. <laughs> so um, fantastic oils that you're going to want for your holidays. Right. Um, the Together Blend is 50% sold out as well. Um, I have that. I love it. Oops. <coughs> All right. 
So this is the Together Blend. I got this as part of my convention kit. It's $25, I believe. It's Yuzu and Magnolia. Did I memorize that already? I did. All right, so the Together Blend, 100% of the proceeds goes towards the Healing Hands Foundation. So Google um, what our Healing Hands Foundation is about. And so, <coughs> excuse me, I got a dry cough right now because it's so dry in our house. And to help combat that, I'm using our Dawn Diffuser humidifier. It's huge. For those of you that don't have it yet, I need to get one in my kitchen here. Um, Laura says Holiday Peace and Wild Orange are amazing together. Patricia likes Holiday Peace with Pettigrain. And Allie likes to diffuse Holiday Peace and Holiday Joy together. Keep sharing these recipes, folks, because it's how we all learn how to use them better, right? <clears throat> all right, so Magnolia and Yuzu. It smells very fruity. It's amazing, right? Uh, together roller. So check those out. Make sure you get those as soon as possible. I did order something um, after my first order because I wish I saw a video of it and I wish I would have ordered it sooner. The Hikari diffuser with the holiday piece is gorgeous. The catalog does not do it justice so I didn't order it and I turned around and I got that ordered. Um, the rest of the items come out December or November 16th or December 1st. So if you're going through your holiday guide, there the rest of the items are going to come out later. All right. So make sure you snag those. When you order, make sure you order in your rewards cart so you get that 10 to 30 percent back and you get your shipping refunded on every order plus a penny. Right. That's called our LRP Loyalty Rewards Program cart. You do have to add one regular item in addition to uh, holiday items or um, redeemed points items that you get for free at any regular um, item from our catalog, right? Um, so that helps, um, that's a requirement for the rewards program. All right, so next, um, let's talk about this. Um, oh, let's talk about skin. I've had so many questions about anti-aging and skin health lately. And um, I'm going to reference uh, oils from this collection, two being frankincense and myrrh. Frankincense and myrrh. So hydrating cream, it's no secret, that's my number one favorite uh, skincare product from doTERRA, um, hydrating cream. So I use that every morning and every night all over my face. If I forget to use any other skincare product, I never forget to use the hydrating cream. All right, so people ask, oh, is it, it's really um, emollient and is it too heavy for oily skin? So I used to have oily acne skin until I started using the hydrating cream. What I think it was is I was using too many drying products and they were stripping the oils from my skin because of the uh, trying to deal with the acne. And I um, ended up with my skin producing even more oil. So now after lunch or midday, I don't get oily skin. The hydrating cream is very hydrating and emollient, but it also is helping the balance in my skin. So since including hydrating cream and using doTERRA's Lifelong Vitality Pack, I no longer have acne skin and I long, no longer have greasy skin. And I no longer have an uneven skin tone. You can really see my skin today without my glasses on. So um, I do not have any kind of foundation on. I just have blush. I have hydrating cream, blush, lipstick, and eye makeup right? And my skin is not greasy. It's well hydrated and comfortable, which is key this time of year because it's so uncomfortable in this uh, dry furnace house. Um, so hydrating cream helps even out my skin tone as well because it has essential oils in it to do that. Um, but even better, add oils for anti-aging and skin health and skin repair. So put a dollop of hydrating cream in your hands and put a couple drops of frankincense and myrrh from your ancient oils collection. Also a couple of the oils in here are good for skin as well. I'm still researching them, so give me some time to remember which ones are good for that and I'll post it here at the top. 
but put a couple drops of those skin oils. So oils that are good for the skin. I love to remind you of this because this is my favorite topic. I'm um, almost 49 years old. I'm 48. And so anything for anti-aging um, is very helpful, right? So oils for the skin, flower oils and wood oils, right? Flower oils and wood oils. I don't know what myrrh is, but frankincense is a wood. All right, so that's going to lead me into talking about the cataracts um, and what I did pre and post surgery to maintain my eye health and rose oil and frankincense, right, a flower and a wood um, are two of the most important ones pre and post um, eye surgery or cataract surgery. So let's talk about that. Right, share in the comments what oils you use for skin health, right? Yarrow palm, sandalwood, frankincense, geranium, cedarwood, copaiba. Did you know copaiba helps um, promote collagen? Yarrow palm and copaiba help promote collagen, two of our most important oils for collagen production, right? If you know anything about skin, you know those are key. Yarrow palm and copaiba for collagen production. <clears throat> I'm going to eat a lemon lime drop because this dry cough is driving me crazy. All right. These are so good. Jackson's eating them like candy. All right. But because they have lemon and lime in them, lemon oils and lime oils, did you know both of those are mucolytics? So they help with mucus. All right. So those are fantastic for kids that are old enough um, to use a hard candy. All right. Don't push... Um, Suckers, hard candies, anything like that prematurely onto children. Not a big fan of candy in general, but I'm okay with these. All right, my son choked on hard candy when he was at a babysitter's once. So don't push hard candies on your children too early, but <clears throat> or things like that. Right, but these are great for children if they're old enough to use them. Because lemon and lime are great. Lemon and lime are great for dealing with mucus. All right, so. Back to eye health. So pre-cataract surgery, I want to make sure that my eyes are clean and healthy, that I have healthy inflammatory response, that I have healthy immunity of the eye, and that my body is in great shape for surgery. Yes, cataract surgery is no big deal, as people say, but let me tell you, you get incisions in your eyeball, you're having the surgery done in facilities that are overrun with staph infection and MRSA right? It's common knowledge in the healthcare industry that staph and MRSA are um, it's either the first or second biggest problem that they deal with, all right? And so we want to make sure that we are in great health to have any kind of surgery. So pre-surgery, it's so good, but it's making me salivate while I talk, so I got to take it back out. God, I love those things. Okay, pre-surgery, I am doing things to help my body be as healthy as possible. Number one, I did not slack for the week prior. I did not slack one single time on taking my lifelong vitality pack vitamins, my Terrazyme digestive enzymes, and my PB assist probiotics. I take those every single day period, but you know, sometimes I'll go in um, stages where I'm Loosey goosey with it. I absolutely and positively did not miss the week before my surgery because I wanted to make sure my body had a healthy inflammatory response, had maximum amounts of nutrition, and that my gut health was optimum because uh, your immunity, right, 80 to 90 percent of your immune system is in your gut, right? So it's so important every single day to take lifelong vitality pack supplements, essential oil supplements, Terrazyme digestive enzymes, and PB assist probiotics from doTERRA. <clears throat> so what else did I do? This time of year, I'm doing this anyway, but also um, pre-surgery, I made sure I was taking one on guard soft gel in the morning and one at night, right, for immune health. They are filled with orange, clove, black pepper, cinnamon, eucalyptus, uh, ingestible version, oregano, rosemary, and melissa. Right. I'm not going to go through the benefits of each one of those oils, but take a moment and look at the health benefits of each of those oils in your book, and it'll blow your mind. Right, So helps with maintaining um, healthy immunity, Right, keeping you strong so that if you are exposed to something, you are prepped and ready to go to fight it off easily and quickly. 
All right, one thing I take um, every single day, regardless of the time of year, I take two Copaiba soft gels at bedtime to help me personally with sleep, my immune system, um, anxiousness, nervousness, and a healthy inflammatory response. I made sure I never um, forget to take these um, because I sleep so well. But what they also help with is getting that body ready so it's in uh, perfect condition so that when you do have your surgery, again, you reco recover quickly and easily. All right, so here is something that I don't do on a daily basis already. All right, so I made sure and incorporated GX Assist. About a week before, I started taking one of each, and about two days before, I started taking one in the morning um, with breakfast or whatever my first meal of the day was, and one was supper, right? So an extra oregano, maluca, lemon, lemongrass, uh, peppermint, thyme, and caprylic acid, right? So again, just really powerhouses for your immune system. Um, GX Assist is also an antibiotic right? So it was proactive, using them for proactive health, right? So um, then oils that I was using um, pre-surgery, I have dropper bottles made up of every single Symphony of Cells protocol, and I was using the inflammatory, healthy inflammatory response protocol, um, frankincense, maluca, lemongrass, oils that you're also going to see in GX Assist, Right, to get the full recipes, you do have to purchase this book for copyright reasons, and it's available on truewellness.com. Right, I don't, I'm not compensated in any way to talk about um, this product. Uh, I tell you about it because um, they're so important for optimal health for our family. We now use a Symphony of Cell recipe, all of us, um, one time a day at night. Right, so I was using the inflammatory and I make a dropper of it to make it more convenient. It's best to layer the oils one at a time to get maximum results, but we learned that um, that uh, that doesn't happen because we're too busy. And we don't take the time. So I took, I believe in this dropper, I have 15 drops of each Symphony of Cell oil that they recommend for healthy inflammatory response. I top off the rest with fractionated coconut oil. And then every night my husband um, put this on my spine and rubbed it all over my back, right? So Symphony of Cells dropper bottles. Now let's talk about, I wanna talk about oils before I talk about post-surgery. Terry says, I'm scared to death to have cataract surgery. Don't be scared, right? Use your doTERRA before and after and don't be scared at all, okay? I have really, really bad eyesight. So the difficulty I'm having with seeing is this eye is really bad. This eye is amazing now and they're not working together. Um, unfortunately, I didn't realize that could happen with really, really bad eyesight. Like this eye is terribly bad, right? It's always been bad. And so they're fighting with one another to see. So I have to wear an eye patch, right? I don't want to be on video with an eye patch today, but I have to wear an eye patch to co cover my old eye, right? So it's um, been a challenge because I work on computer and phone all the time, but Terry, don't be scared to have it at all. When you schedule it, make sure your surgeon has a closer schedule where he does the surgeries closer together. You do one eye and then like a week later, they do the second eye. Mine happened to be scheduled three weeks apart for whatever reason. I don't know if the surgeon was on vacation in between or what, but um, so it's been a challenge, but make sure your surgeon schedules them closer together and you'll be fine. All right, so let's talk about now the oils pre-surgery. Now, there were some I was already using on a regular basis, so let's talk about those and why, All right? So Rose and Immortelle and Maluca I was already using on my face and around my eyes on a regular basis, All right? So Rose and Melaleuca I was using because um, I had um, styes in my eyes and some staph um, in the spring, right? And so to keep my eyes healthy and clean, we don't put oils in our eyes, ears, or nose. I have always rubbed rose oil all over my face um, at night at the very minimal right? But I added Melaleuca to help um, keep my eyes healthy and clean. So what I would do, I'm just going to show you today, right? So it's this easy. Take your rose oil. I'm actually rubbing it all over my face for reals. All right. Smells great. 
right around. See how I'm doing around the eye? I mess up my blush, but that's okay. All right, and rub it in. That's rose. Turn around and do the same thing. I haven't done it yet today, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it for real. Now look at. See how I'm going over the eye and under the eye and rub it in. Melaleuca's cleansing. It's good for the skin. It's clarifying, right? It's great for acne, great for anything skin related. But I like, because of the um, really bad eye infections I was having this spring, we don't know why, um, I wanted to make sure my eyes were clean and healthy, especially pre-surgery, okay? Now I do the same thing post-surgery. My pre and post surgery oil um, protocol is the same, right? So again, I already use rose oil all over my face on a regular basis every night. And I already used Immortel, right? That's an anti-aging roller. But what I added, um, I was using pre-surgery for cleansing and keeping the eye clean and healthy, right? Around the eye was tea tree or melaleuca, right? I had already been using that because of the styes and whatnot. Okay, so Immortel, I started using. Immortel is great for cataracts, pre post surgery, and for keeping your eyes incredibly healthy. One thing we learned a year or two ago is for um, glaucoma or eye pressure issues, Immortel is great for maintaining healthy eye pressure, right? This goes all over my face. I haven't done it yet today, so I'm just doing it right now, right? So roll Immortel all over your face. If you have sensitive skin, Immortel is 100% pure oils, not diluted. So the reason I'm able to do that all over my face easily, um, number one, I already have hydrating cream all over my face. Number two, I used to be terribly um, sensitive to Immortel and couldn't use it at all. It gave me a rash all over my face when I first started using oils. So how can I use it now all over my face with no problems, right? I had that with Immortel, Frankincense, and Helichrysum. I, they would give me a rash, all right? Well, what it was, was I needed to help my body be healthy from the inside out. I was having not an allergic reaction, but I was having a sensitivity reaction. I had so many toxins filled in my body and my skin was responding to all those toxins coming out through the skin in the form of rashes. Over the years of using doTERRA's Lifelong Vitality Pack, Terrazyme, PB Assist, and Zendocrine products to help clean my uh, filtering organs like my liver and my kidneys, I no longer have an issue with helichrysum, frankincense, or Immortel. Okay. All right. So back to my mom's issue. She was taking a medication for eye pressure. Um, post glaucoma surgery, and it wasn't working for her. And so uh, we had read that Immortel helps maintain healthy eye pressure. She started using Immortel for um, anti-aging benefits, but it turns out it was bringing down um, the pressure in her eyes. They both happened simultaneously. She started using it and um, her eye pressure um, uh, stabilized because it's for maintaining healthy eye pressure and maintaining eye health. So my mom's been using Immortel ever since. If you get a chance, um, check out my mom's uh, picture in here. She's 76 and has the healthiest and best skin she's had her whole life from using Yarrow Palm this last year and Immortel, right? She uses Immortel all over her whole face and she uses Yarrow Palm around here. Her, her skin looks amazing. Right, so <clears throat> also this is a great tip from Angela. Um, while you're at it, um, for ear health, right? For ear health, you can roll um, any of these oils, especially Immortel, around the ears for ear health, right? Anytime I have oils left on my fingers, you're always gonna see me on camera rubbing them behind my ears. I'm always doing that. These oils and Immortel are also good for ear health. So eye, skin, ears, All right? So that is pre-cataract surgery. I was doing those on a regular basis, right, um, the week before. And a lot of those I was using already. So, um, but if you're just getting started, Immortel, Rose, and Melaleuca um, pre-eye surgery. Okay, now I have the surgery. Now what do I want to do? Well, I want to make sure 
that I'm using Zendocrine oil over my liver and taking um, extra Zendocrine white bottle. I take one of these each day. So I went to two. Why do I do that? I want to clear that anesthesia anesthesia out of my system as soon as possible because that stuff is so bad for you, right? So Zendocrine is cleaning my liver and getting that stuff out as quickly as possible. Again, make sure you're sticking with your routine. Lifelong Vitality Pack, Terrazyme digestive enzymes, PBS's probiotics, and make sure that you're increasing or at least taking one to two white Zendocrine if you're not already and applying Zendocrine roller over the liver once or twice a day, right? We need to get those toxins out, right? My surgeon did not require a pre-surgery antibiotic, which is good because um, that is uh, not something that I'm on board with. Um, so talk to your physician, right? If they do, ask them why. Maybe you have a medical condition um, that would require it. But either way, whether um, it's the eye drops, which I did use all the eye drops that they prescribed. The one that I didn't um, was a fluoroquinolone. It's called ofloxacin. And I knew anything with the name flox in it is a fluoroquinolone. And they're extremely dangerous. Right, that's the line of drugs that put me in a wheelchair with brain damage. So I told them I would not use that one. You need to find a replacement for me. Now, because they're familiar with fluoroquinolones now, they did not have a problem with that whatsoever. So they just prescribed a different one. You want to use the eye drops that they recommend for your safety. You want to work with your medical practitioner on that. What's important is that you communicate clearly with them, right? So I communicated clearly and honestly that I will not take a fluoroquinolone. So let's find a replacement for that, right? You need to make sure that you're um, following your surgeon's um, advice. If your surgeon balks at that, educate them on fluoroquinolones. Feel free to take a printout with you on the dangers of fluoroquinolones and how you should not be taking them. Right, so that's um, pre-surgery, post-surgery, same routine, post-surgery, and then add Zendocrine to clear the liver of the anesthesia, all right? It was very mild. It was twilight, they said. I didn't even feel anything, but, um, and then post-surgery, Immortel, Rose, Maluka around the eye, but now a couple others. You can do them all at the same time. You can spread them out throughout the day, whatever trips your trigger. Helichrysum. You can now get this in our roller, thank goodness, all right? I'm addicted to the smell of it now from using it so much. Okay, so same thing around the eye. You can go on the bro uh, brow bone. You just want to make sure that you don't get stuff in your eye, okay? You don't want it to be irritating, right? I'm going to do the same thing. So now I'm still putting it around um, my old eye, not just the eye that had surgery. Because remember, this eye is having surgery in a um, couple weeks. I want to make sure it's optimum health beforehand for it as well. Okay, so helichrysum is great for all over the face. It's amazing for skin, wrinkles, um, age spots. It's great for skin healing. It promotes circulation, right? And it helps promote um, what I've noticed. I don't have any documentation on this. What I've noticed is it helps um, with the um, uh, healthy uh, healing response, right? So body's healthy healing response. So helichrysum helps promote circulation because remember I have incisions in my one eye, helps with a healthy inflammatory response. So it helps keep the inflammation down, okay? And so that's super important. A lot of those drops they give you are for those things, right? But I wanna make sure that I'm getting um, the best and I'm getting a natural option. So then on top of that, I take frankincense, put a couple drops in my hands, put it on my fingertips, and put it on top, all right? So rose, melaleuca, or tea tree, immortelle, and frankincense. You can put frankincense all over your face, too. I have a frankincense roller at my other house. I just don't have one here. Otherwise, I would have used the roller. But I've already got lots of carrier oil on my skin because of the tea tree rose and helichrysum plus they have hydrating cream so you can do straight frankincense on top now frankincense is an enhancer so why did i put frankincense on last right it's not just good for skin frankincense enhances the effects of all those other oils that i used frankincense is an enhancer right so it's enhancing everything that i used 
I also, the first couple days, did on guard um, on my temples, all right? I don't need it anymore. I've got so much on guard in and on my body already. But um, I was just being proactive because I was really nervous. So um, on guard on my temples, and massaged it in because it's great for keeping the area healthy and clean, right? It's fighting um, bacteria and all that good stuff, right? So in addition to post-surgery, um, where's my dropper bottle? There it is. All right, so post-surgery, right? I did my Symphony of Cells dropper bottle every night for the inflammatory protocol. And then we added a second dropper bottle for the immunity. It's called ID in your Symphony of Cells book. And again, I mixed 15 drops of each oil listed in the Symphony of Cells protocol, topped it with fractionated coconut oil, shook it, and my husband did a dropper on my back and massaged it in. So I did the ID protocol during the day for immunity. And I did the healthy inflammatory um, protocol at night to make sure that my body had a healthy inflammatory response and that I um, wasn't going to have to deal with inflammation. All right. Um, don't be scared um, of the surgery. It's been fantastic. I have great vision in my right eye. I cannot wait to get the left one done. And so um, there are some other oils that are great um, to use uh, pre and post cataract surgery, right? So now that I've had this surgery and I no longer have cataracts um, eventually in both eyes, I want to maintain my eye health moving forward. So what should I be using on a daily basis no matter what, right? So uh, three oils, now four. I like to alternate my uh, skin health oils, but I want to point out which ones um, are good for eye health as well, all right? So using Immortel on a daily basis for anti-aging, making sure you get it um, around your eyes is going to be great for maintaining eye health, right? I want to make sure and maintain my eye health now because uh, cataracts can come back and I don't want that to happen, all right? So Immortel for anti-aging. When I say anti-aging, we have incredible before and after pictures of Immortel for uh, skin repair, scarring, age spots, um, discoloration from pregnancy. We have amazing before and after pictures in here. So everyone should be using Immortel on a regular basis. If it's too strong, full strength, um, get multiple 10 milliliter empty bottles. Uh, the average person can, um, split this into three, all right? So you take this, two more rollers, and get a pipette, and pipette out um, a third, and put it in the other two rollers, and then fill it with jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is the best um, uh, non-comedogenic, it won't cause your clog your pores for skin, so jojoba oil for your carrier. And even better, you can do one-third Immortel one third yarrow palm oil and one third jojoba oil, right? And that is fantastic. So rose oil, rose will always be a daily part of my skin routine, but again, it's also amazing um, for your everything. Rose oil is good for everything, right? And then helichrysum, because of its ability to help with um, scarring, uh, health of the eye, circulation, whatnot, that's going to become a part of my daily routine. And then frankincense, I actually use the frankincense roller every night. I'm out of a roller here. I just ordered a new one. Or you can make your own 20 drops <clears throat> frankincense, top it off with jojoba, or um, top it off with uh, fractionated coconut oil, right? So these are some great oils to get in a daily routine. You can also make <clears throat> an oil for eye health. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a frog. Between the dry and the frog, holy cow. For cataracts health, lemongrass, clary sage, cardamom, immortel, and black pepper. Lemongrass, clary sage, cardamom, immortel, and black pepper. So you can make a roller with... Lemongrass is a really strong smelling one. I'd say five drops of lemongrass, cardamom, and black pepper, and then 10 drops clary sage and immortel, and you could make an eye health roller as well. 
as you can tell, there's lots of options. I'm the lazy man, um, so I like all doTERRA pre-made rollers. That's my jam now. And so I'm going to stick with these oils that are pre-made, but you can also use uh, lemongrass, clary sage, cardamom, and black pepper along with your Immortel for eye health. Right now, I was super duper stressed out and very nervous pre-surgery, so I used my adaptive oil. I was not allowed to use it before surgery. I was not allowed to put any lotions or oils or um, anything on my skin pre-surgery. And so I literally took my adaptive oil bottle, took the lid off, and sat there and just inhaled it all throughout the morning, all right? So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I didn't have to put it on to get the health benefits, all right? I snorted it through my nose, folks. Turn, take that lid off, inhale the oils through the nose. You're going to get the health benefits aromatically, right? Inhaling that adaptive oil through my nose, it had uh, went through the olfactory bulb in my nose, triggered the limbic system in my brain to have a healthy, positive emotional response to help calm me down. Okay, so do that with any of your oils for stress, feelings of anxiousness, right? Pre-surgery, inhale it straight from the bottle if your uh, surgeon tells you you can't put anything on your skin. All right, so hopefully that was helpful, but these are just pre-made rollers that you want to get in your regular routine, All right? Make sure you have tea tree, on guard. Adaptive, everyone should know that by now, right? Rose oil, helichrysum, immortal, frankincense, and get those into um, a healthy routine for your skin and a healthy routine um, for eye health, right? Uh, Kat says, did they say why you couldn't have oils before surgery? Yeah, the surgeon doesn't want anything. They don't want anything on your skin that could get in your eye, um, that could interfere with what um, they're doing. So no lotions, no perfumes, no deodorant. That's pretty common too. They also don't want those things on their equipment, right? So when you go in for any kind of um, surgery or procedure anymore, they don't want you using um, face lotion. They don't want you, they don't want anything getting on them that the next person could be allergic to. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a perfume, a deodorant, a face lotion, an oil. It wasn't just oils. It was nothing on the skin, period, right? And that was just um, their policy pre-surgery, right? So um, what else, guys? We talked about holiday. Make sure you get your lemon lime drops. They're gonna sell anytime. Um, make sure you get your adaptive oil. That's almost sold out as well. And be sure, be sure, be sure to get your hands on this Ancient Oils collection. Now, I just got mine yesterday, so that's going to give me some time here to use them and go through and learn what I want to use them for. So I have some notes here. Let's do that since we're doing good on time. All right, let's take a peek here. I printed out some notes on each of these oils. All right, so a few of these oils you will not take internally, including galbanum. Let's see what galbanum is good for. Oh, anything skin related. So awesome. I'm going to um, add um, galbanum and apply it to my face at bedtime. Let's see what it smells like. I bet galbanum is a wood oil. It smells like wood. Right, so um, I don't know yet, right? Because I haven't had that much time to research them. Um, so galbanum, good for the skin. It smells very earthy and woodsy. So I really bet it's a wood oil. If I'm wrong, it doesn't matter. Either way, it's going to be good for the skin, right? Valerie says, is the top 10 oils touch kit being discontinued? It is, right? Uh, Deep blue was in that. And deep blue rollers have been discontinued because the FDA is requiring them to have a child safety cap on that. So that made the top, it's nine oils in the touch kit. The top nine oil touch kit is uh, now phased out because uh, they have to put a child safety cap on 
deep blue oil. So they're phasing out the deep blue rollers, folks, and they're just going to go back to the five milliliter um, deep blue oil with a safety cap. Okay, galbanum, good for the skin. Let's see what else it's good for. Um, respiratory. Oh, good. I got that weird cough today. Let's put some on my chest. So what's a good way to, um, super simple, I don't have time to make a roller for you on camera right now. So what's a good thing to put on my um, chest? Let's do rose oil because rose is good for the skin and I can always use um, some help on my chest with anti-aging, right, because I get too much sun. And so I got rose all over my chest now. So now I have a carrier oil and the rose oil on. So let's put a drop or two of galbanum in my hands and I'm gonna rub that on my chest because it's good for respiratory and I got a weird, dry, irritating cough today. So that way I've put a carrier oil on. Um, I don't know if galbanum is um, hot oil or not. I don't think any of these are hot oils, which means uh, they're just a little stronger in the skin. But either way, if I always dilute first, I don't have to worry about it. <sighs> And then I'm going to inhale through my hand, all right, to get that um, aromatic benefit um, into my lungs. So that's galbanum, skin and respiratory. It's also good for aches and pains, so you can apply it wherever you have discomfort. And it's good um, for digestion. So I'm going to get all of those health benefits, even just applying it here, because um, it absorbs into my skin within 20 seconds and travels throughout my whole body within 20 minutes. Ooh, yeah, Allie, I can talk about Litzy too. Right, so Litzy is free this month and it's amazing. Right, so that's galbanum. Talked about the key. It's also good for uh, nerves, for nerve health, right, for nerve health. Uh, well, I think the galbanum is good for mucus because something just <laughs> happened and cleared out my sinuses. <laughs> All right, isn't that fun to learn this right on camera? All right, let's talk about hyssop respiratory, digestive, skin, let's do that too, this up, where are you, this up, now there's a child safety cap on hyssop, so I'm going to read more about this before I apply it, what that means is it's definitely not ingestible, right, but I'm going to read more about this before I apply it to make sure it's not a hot oil, but hyssop is good for respiratory, digestive, Skin related. Helps with irritated bronchial passages. Everybody needs hyssop right now. Helps with feelings of anxiousness and maintains healthy blood pressure. The biggest thing it's promoting in the research that I did for hyssop or the research that I printed out, I just Googled essential oil benefits of hyssop is respiratory, respiratory. I'm not concerned about putting this on my skin. It smells a lot like breeze, but um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my chest, all right? So that's hyssop, right? That throat irritation and chest irritation has already calmed down. Oh, I love it. Okay, so this has um, effects like breathe, eucalyptus, um, it's, Probably got um, menthol chemical constituents in it. I don't have that information here. Um, hyssop. Ooh, I'm liking it. So I breathed it in through my lungs, and now I want to breathe it in through my nose as well. Oh, that's good. Oh, I'm addicted already. All right, so hyssop for respiratory, but also the other um, benefits. Uh, emotional health bronchial passages, digestive, skin, healthy blood pressure, immunity, anti-aging for the skin. Oh, cool. This is hyssop. Now, because it's got that menthol-y um, uh, aroma or aromatic benefits, I'm not going to put it all over um, my face because it'll probably make my eyes water right now on camera. All right, but it's really good for anti-aging skin, and hyssop is great for cuts and wounds. Yes, that's Angela asking that. You got it right. Hyssop is also good for irregular menstrual cycles and menopause. It helps maintain a healthy hormonal balance. We already talked about maintaining healthy blood pressure. 
helps maintain healthy body temperature healthy body temperature. So if you have an elevated body temperature, hyssop's going to help uh, maintain your healthy body temperature. Helps with loss of appetite and anything digestive related. Hyssop helps with muscle spasms and cramps and anything aches and discomforts related. Hyssop's a really good one here. All right, let's talk about cystus. That's not it. I like that smell. I'm trying to figure out what oil it smells like. So like um, galbanum smells like cedar wood and those woody oils. Hyssop smells like breeze, eucalyptus. But I can't put a finger on cystus. I really like it. Okay, let's read about it. Sinuses are clearing out, so galbanum is definitely good for sinuses. Cystus helps quiet the mind and helps you stay calm. It stimulate, stimulates your five senses, touch, feeling, hearing, sight, and taste. It's effective for maintaining healthy lymph glands. Um, it's good for anything abdominal. It's great for skin. Cystus is great for skin, right? So um, anything skin-related, inflamed skin. It helps with trauma emotionally. If you've suffered a dramatic loss, put a couple drops of cystus in your hands um, and inhale. You can also diffuse it. You can also make a roller of it. So any of these you can make a roller with. Put 20 drops of the oil in a 10 milliliter roller and top it off with fractionated coconut oil. So I'm deep inhaling cystus through my nose for the emotional health benefits, but then it also is on my hands, so it absorbed topically into my skin within 20 seconds and will be traveling throughout my whole body in 20 minutes. So that is for emotional trauma. It increases lymph drainage. It's great for acne and oily skin, wrinkles, and mature skin. So now that cystus, I would put all over my face with my hydrating cream or in a roller for health benefits. All right. The hyssop, I would not because of the menthol effects. It would irritate my eyes, but I could put it um, for skin everywhere else. Cystus, every single one of these oils is great for respiratory support. So hopefully you understand why doTERRA uh, launched the ancient oils collection at this particular time in 2020. Um, respiratory support. It's great for anything skin, anything digestive. Wrinkles, we already talked about that. Bronchioles, we already talked about that. Immunity. All right, fantastic. That was cystus. All right. What else do we have left? Oh, cystus tightens the skin. Cystus tightens. And I'm keeping this baby out. This baby is going all over my face. All right, let's go back to cystus again. I inhaled it. I put it on my hands, but now I'm putting it all over my face straight because I already have hydrating cream on. I already have rose oil that's diluted on. I already have um, melaleuca that's diluted with a carrot oil on. As you can tell, my um, blush is gone now. All right, cystus is great for toning and tightening skin. So let's get cystus oil um, around the mouth for anti-aging, um, all over the neck, all over the chest, tightens and tones skin. Trying to make a graphic of that, baby. Let's keep that one out. All right. Respiratory, we talked about that. Urinary tract health. So you can apply cystus to your abdominal area, your lower abdominals for urinary tract health, right? It'll absorb into your skin and um, help with your urinary tract. It's good for circulation. It's good for emotions. We already talked about that. Helps change negative thoughts into positive ones. Cystus oil. Cystus oil is at the top of my list, folks, in this ancient oils collection. Hormone balancing, mood enhancer, circulatory system, respiratory system, nervous system, intestinal health. 
All right, we'll get some graphics made for this now that we have this extensive research on these oils. All right, common myrtle. Um, so common myrtle, aphrodisiac. Did not print well. Hold on. Traditional uses and health benefits. All right, so again, it's going to be great for respiratory support. And it has um, eucalyptol in it, all right? So it has a compound, cineol, um, known as eucalyptol. So it's got the same thing like that camphor-like aroma, just like hyssop, right? So you're going to use it just like you use eucalyptus or breathe. Diffuse it, massage it onto the chest and back. It's great for respiratory support, right? This is common myrtle. It's great for thyroid health. Common myrtle, right? So you can use it for respiratory health and thyroid health. Put on your carrier oil of some kind and apply it over your thyroid and all over your chest. It's great for skin health, brain boosting, balancing blood sugars, hormone balance, and it's a really strong adaptogenic. All right, so Google adaptogenics again. That's a whole video on its own. Biggest thing is respiratory removing excess mucus and irritation, right? Helps with spasms from a dry cough, right? Love it. Also helps with neurotoxicity, right? Neurotoxicity. Okay, lots of great information. Make sure you get your hands on the ancient oils kit before it sells out, folks. I think I might order another one. All right, I ordered one just in case, case I didn't love the... Um, smell of the oils, but I'm totally sold on those health benefits, and I do like all of the smell of the oils, so I'm going to order another one. I'll write that down. Order another ancient oils. All right, so get your hands on that. Love, love, love that. All right, that's all I have for today. Um, oh, Litzy. So Litzy, obsessed, I think it's right here, because I went around and I put it in every diffuser yesterday. Oh, no. I moved it. It's in the living room. All right, so Litzy Oil. What did I notice? So at night, I'm watching TV, chilling, right? It's like 8.30 at night, 9 o'clock. And we have Litzy going in every single diffuser in the house because it's good for positivity, uplifting, motivation. So I'm sitting there chilling like a villain. And all of a sudden, I yell out to my husband. He goes to bed really early. And I say, are you ready for bed or would you do something for me? And he said, nope, I'm not ready for bed. So the Litzy was helping him stay awake. And uh, I said, I want to pull out my recliner and vacuum all the ladybugs and hair. So we were literally tearing apart the living room last night at 9 o'clock at night. And he's like, what's gotten into you? Well, I had the Litzy going in my Dawn diffuser next to me while I was watching TV. And suddenly I couldn't sit still anymore. I was ready to get stuff done, right? So Litzy helps with energizing, focus, motivation. That was just diffusing it. And then I'd also put a, a couple drops in my hands, rub my hands together and smelled it. And so that was earlier in the day. Um, and I took, well, my mom drove me to Walmart and went to Walmart with my mom, got groceries, did all kinds of stuff. And I was super energized. All right, so now I'm going to go to my book and look up Litzy. Litzy is in your book, fortunately. You can get Litzy free in the U.S. this month. We don't normally carry it. So this is why you need to get it right now, all right? Get it free by doing your rewards order this month by the 15th, the LRP cart, and spend 125 PV and a 15 milliliter, that's the big bottle, comes free. All right, it's great for respiratory. So you're going to see... Ancient Oils Collection, Litzy's Free, Black Spruce is 10% off. Every single one of these oils are good for immunity and respiratory support. doTERRA was very strategic in making sure that we had our hands on all of these oils for strong immunity and respiratory. They did it on a purpose for us, right? Um, aches and discomforts, anything skin related. Again, this is Litzy if you're just now joining us. Um, Liat says, you can see without glasses after the surgery. Yes, I can see out of my right eye without glasses after the cataract surgery. Litzy is good for maintaining healthy blood pressure, a regular heartbeat, feelings of anxiousness, anything respiratory, um, seasonal blues. 
negative thinking or speaking. So Litzy and Cystus have a lot of common properties as well. We call Litzy the poor man's Melissa oil. So Melissa oil is a pricier oil. It's one of our most famous oils. Um, and Litzy has a lot of the same health benefits, all right? The only way to get this in the US is free right now. So make sure you get your Litzy oil. Nervous tension. Um, head and neck tension, stressed mind, nausea, motion sickness, indigestion, poor appetite, cellulite, excessive perspiration, brain fog, lack of motivation, um, lung health, menstrual health, muscle aches and discomforts. Let's see. My favorite aspect, it smells amazing, diffused. And it's very motivating and good for mental health. So it's in every single one of our diffusers right now. I got it yesterday and every diffuser um, got Litzy in it. It's going to be a part of my daily routine. In fact, I'll probably make a roller with Litzy in it. You know, right now before my videos, I always roll a Mavi and Adaptive. Litzy is going to be added to that collection. So I'll make a Litzy roller and it'll be 20 drops Litzy and um, the rest fractionated coconut oil in a 10 milliliter roller. I'll uh, roll it on my wrists, neck, and smell, right? I really want to make sure I always have oils like that that are also um, not photosensitive. So my adaptive is photosensitive because <clears throat> it has citrus oils in it. It's very important when I'm in Florida to have oils that are motivating and energizing that are not photosensitive. So let's make sure, is it photosensitive? I don't believe that it is. All right, so let's see, will be uh, my new oil for motive. A lot of our motivating and energizing and focus oils have citrus in them. And so um, let's see, will be my new um, non photosensitive for the sun, uh, energizing and motivating oil. Would it help to use Litzy in a night diffuser to be more motivated in the AM or would it keep us awake? For me, Charlotte, I'm very sensitive to that. I can't even diffuse adaptive at bedtime because it energizes me. On guard energizes me. So we have an uh, on guard in Jackson's room, but not my room. So you'll just have to try it and see if you're more sensitive to that. I won't be able to use Litzy until I wake up. All right. Um, Christy says, you're a wealth of information. Today's video was very good. I'm quite excited that I was able to see well enough to read things for you. So love it, love it, love it. So um, awesome. Get your free Litzy. Get Black Spruce um, on your order. It's 10% off. Make sure you have your arsenal for immunity health oils. And sorry, I got dry throat. Immunity health oils and all things respiratory. Okay, so we want to make sure we have the ancient oils collection. If your budget allows, get more than one. I'm going back now. I'm going to have to order more. Um, get your black spruce, your litzy, breathe, eucalyptus, peppermint, anything respiratory related. In fact, let's go through um, to make sure that you have all things respiratory on your list, okay? I'm gonna read some off. Grab a pen and paper. Breathe, rosemary, digest then. So a lot of people don't know digest then is for sinuses and respiratory as well as digestive. All right, so anything respiratory. Breathe, rosemary, digest then, cardamom, lemon, clary sage, did not know that, Roman chamomile, blue tansy, black spruce, eucalyptus, peppermint. Now I'm going to go to the section for more respiratory. That's just the brief synopsis. Oils for mucus, basil, cardamom, cedarwood, cinnamon, clary sage, Copaiba. Oh, copaiba is my favorite um, cough and respiratory oil. Cypress, fennel, helichrysum, lemon, myrrh, sandalwood, tangerine, wild orange, yarrow, palm. Okay. Mucus, respiratory. Oh, so good. If you don't have this book, get your hands on the Essential Life book. I don't have an affiliation with this company either. 
All right. Get these tools at your fingertips. I also use the Essential Life app on my phone. All right. Tons of good information here. I can't even read them all off. All right. But your top oils for respiratory black pepper, pink pepper, eucalyptus, peppermint, rosemary, black spruce, cardamom, and then our new ancient oils collection. Right. Make sure you have what you need at your fingertips when you need it. All right. Proactive health, not just reactive health. All right. Um, we'll wrap up. I hope everybody has an amazing day. Go get your holiday products. Don't dawdle. You cannot use rewards points on them. Uh, add them to your cart. You need to check out immediately. You cannot save your cart. Oh, I like Liza's recipe. Let's see with wild orange to manifest abundance. I was in an amazing mood yesterday. Uh, many of you that I see on here know me and do my training program, WWZD, um, uh, What Would Zimmers Do? Uh, and, uh, you know, the day before, I was not in good spirits. And yesterday, I was in an amazing mood all day. And I'm attributing that to the Litzy oil in our diffusers um, throughout the entire house. So Litzy for positivity, uplifting. I was having a very negative time with my eye surgery results. Um, the results are great. It's just having one eye that sees and one eye that can't see yet and not being able to wear my glasses for this eye. It's just been a challenge. So Litzy, get your free Litzy ASAP. All right, go order your holiday products before they're gone. I hope you guys have a great day. Happy oiling. Bye.